Now it's time to talk about slope, which is a very important concept, and we'll start by just saying what it is. Slope tells us how steep a line is. It's just a number that tells us the steepness of a line. So in other words, we could have a line in the xy plane that is pretty steep, or we could have a line that is not as steep. And in each case, there would be a number associated with the line, and it would be a bigger number for a steeper line. So that's all slope is. It's a number that tells us how steep a line is. Let's look, look at an example here. What we do to find the slope of a line in, in a case like this where we're given a graph of the line is we pick two points, and there's two points marked here, and we'll call them point one and point two. So let's call this point one here and point two here. And we typically call the one on the left point one. Generally, think from left to right. Now imagine moving along the line from point one to point two. So we're moving along the line in that direction. And as we do that, we go up a certain amount and we go over a certain amount. And you can see that on the graph. We go up this far and we go over that far and the amount that we go up is called the rise and the amount that we go over is called the run and those are two terms that you hear a lot the rise and the run so this is the rise right here and this is the run here so in going from one point to the next or going from point one to point two in this case we go up a certain amount and over a certain amount and then the slope is defined this way slope is rise over run so it's a ratio the ratio of rise over run or you could just think of it as rise divided by run so in this example we can calculate the slope like this the the rise in this case is 2 you can see that right there on the graph and the run in this case is 3 so the slope is equal to 2 over 3 or 2 thirds so this line has a slope of 2 thirds and you can pick any two points you want on the line the the line is straight that means it has the same steepness everywhere so it turns out that any two points will do although it's helpful if you can find two points that coincide to these grid lines on your graph that usually helps helps you see how much rise and how much run there is if you can uh, find two points that correspond to the intersections of those grid lines but you could pick any two points you want for example I could have I could have called this point right here point one and this point right here point two and could calculate a rise and a run and it would still be the same ratio two over three